Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from ICM. It is modded in 135 scale and it is actually a combo kit because here we get the SDEC FZ25, 1 slash 6 and also the crew, the German crew, you can see them on the box art and also here in the vehicle. And that's really cool in my opinion because uh, basically you get everything you need for diorama now, out of the box, maybe simple diorama, but still you get figures included. And here we have the commercial sample, so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you see in this video. So first of all, box size is typical, I would say, for this brand. Here you can see comparison with my hand. And once again, a reminder, that this is a 135 scale kit. Then on this side we have some information about this kit, so there are 302 parts for the vehicle and 32 parts for the figures. On the other side we can see the same marking option as the one depicted on the box art, but we will get to it when we'll, we will be checking the assembly menu. The box structure is typical, here we have the cover printed thin top cover and then we have sturdy white cardboard box which should actually protect everything inside. And once we open it, here is what we have inside. As you can see, at least all the sprues are connected with rubber bands, so they're not flying inside the box. That's really cool in my opinion. At least like this. Okay, so I'm going to remove the rubber strap, rubber band, and then here we are going to start with the figuring parts. And then we will continue to the vehicle. In the meantime, let me remind you that you can support us financially. It is done easily by pressing the button donate on our website. And it is done via PayPal, so it should be quite easy and safe. And of course, you will be the one who will decide how much we will get for new photo and video equipment. So here we have the first plastic sprue, gray one. It is easy to notice. And here we have figure parts. I would say parts division is typical for 135 scale. So we have separately molded legs and hands and also torso. And torso is molded as one piece part so you won't have to join any separate pieces. And I can bring it closer so that you can see those parts in detail. So here we have legs, head. Maybe we can bring closer head so that you can see the molding quality. I would say it's more or less fine for out of the box plastic kit detailing. It looks really good. And of course it will depend also on your painting skills, but as for the plastic, in some places you can notice that we have small amount of flesh, but it should be easy to clean it with a sharp knife and just by scraping it against these uh, spots. And here you can see another guy from the crew. So in total there are four figures and you get them out of the box. You don't have to spend extra money. And now we can move on to the vehicle itself. Maybe some of you saw the video review with basic as if it's a kit, but still it is interesting to check it once again as a small reminder on what is included here and what is cool, what is not cool, because sometimes it happens. Okay, so first of all, we are going to start with this plastic bag. As you can see here, we have the clear plastic frame, so we are going to open it. Just give me a second. Okay. Here we have the clear transparent ports. This will be used for the vehicle, but not for the current version. Because as you remember, it does not have any clear parts. So here we would need only those round lenses for the headlamps and tail lights, as far as I remember. Okay, next we have not so cool thing. These are vinyl tracks. And even though they should be easy to install, they're not as good as you know, plastic parts, for example, or plastic track links. So if you would like to get the better detailing, I would recommend to find some aftermarket upgrade. And note that we get not only the vinyl tracks, but also vinyl tires here because this is a half-track vehicle, as you remember. Here we have tires. They look fine, I mean, they should be okay for out-of-the-box build, but for the professional modelers, I would recommend to change it straight away to the proper plastic upgrade or even metal upgrade. Here you can see the tracks. Okay. Next, we have the plastic spruce. So we are going to start with the biggest one. Here it is. 
and of course its size is defined by the fact that it contains the hull parts as you can see here we have the top cover here we have the bottom insert and um, maybe actually this is also a floor panel as you can see here note that the bonnet panels are molded separately so maybe you can open them in order to expose the engine inside and if you flip it over here you can see that there are some spots for the internal detailing as well and maybe there will be some separately molded parts who knows next we have two absolutely identical plastic frames those are dedicated to the suspension so we are going to check only one uh, here we have various road wheels and also some of the suspension parts as well as equipment items um, here for example you can see the rifles and again molding quality looks really good here we have machine gun i can even bring it closer so that you can see these items in detail here they are here we have road wheels here we have the drive sprocket all those parts look really good so again it will depend on your painting and weathering skills but what we get out of the box is more than enough for nice out of the box build in my opinion next we have another plastic sprue this one is more concerned with various external and internal items for example here you can see the pioneer tools here we have some equipment and here we have the engine elements steering wheel is here and again everything looks fine i can bring closer for example those pioneer tools so that you can see that there is no flash on those parts maybe some minor amount which is visible through the bright light but it won't be difficult to clean it and here we have various parts for the engine and for the interior as well okay and next we have another plastic sprue this one is dedicated to the large antenna as you remember it will be placed right on the top of this deca 251 here it is and here you will have to be careful because this is a really thin part which is molded as a one piece and you have to cut it without breaking any of those segments that will be a bit tricky task and i know some modellers will uh, just replace it with metal wire and forget about it and here you can see it on another side okay and last but not the least is this part so lower hull segment should be glued out of separate panels and here you can see them also here we have some parts for the side panels as well here we have engine pieces here is the engine block house here we have suspension parts for the front axle and if we flip it over here we have also some guiding elements for the internal elements so it will be more or less easy to install all the stuff in the right spots and last but not the least is the assembly manual here it is this one is printed in a typical brochure format for the ICM so there is no surprise and we have short history note on the um, on two languages so Russian and English here technical specifications paints chart and when we open it here we have also decals sheet so just give me a second here it is this one features all necessary symbols we even have dials for the dashboard so it should be more or less detailed vehicle if you plan to build it without any additional accessories we also have here the separate manual manual for the figures so we have parts map and paint chart and on the other side we have assembly manual combined together with marking guide then we continue with parts map for the vehicle and note how many parts won't be used they will go straight to your spare box um, here we start assembly with lower uh, hull half and as i said before we'll have to combine separate panels then you join all this stuff with the bottom panel or floor panel. Here we continue with sides, which are angular, as you remember. Then here we install the front suspension and together with wheel axle. Then we continue with assembly of the engine. And as you remember, we have separate bonnet doors. So maybe it would be possible to expose this engine. Um, let's see how manufacturer will display it. But here we continue working on the interior of this vehicle next we install various items inside the interior and here we have the radio station which is assembled in the separate cage as you can see 
next this cage is installed into the vehicle. Here you have to modify the plastic, so delete those plastic pins. And also you have here the special template, which will help you get the right holes on the vehicle. Next, we continue with installation of those armor windows. Here we install the engine doors and note that there are um, it is not mentioned that you can open them, but since they are molded separately, I would rather think on how to open them and expose the engine on your model. Next, we continue with top hull section internals. Now, here we also install the rifles, various tools, and then we join it together with lower half. Then we install rear panels. And note that those are molded in a closed position, so you won't be able to do anything with them. Here we start working on the suspension for the track parts. And that will be a bit tricky because you will have to combine a lot of parts together. So be ready for this. It will be a bit tedious procedure. As you can see, a lot of circles to combine together. And last but not the least is the installation of the headlamps, installation of the antenna on the top. And in total, this is a 111th 11 steps process. Here we have two marking options, only two. So one comes from Poland, September 1939. It's common vehicle of Lieutenant General Guderian. And also here we have another vehicle from 1941. It is not mentioned where it was operating. But I guess it's not difficult to find some alternative marking if you are not satisfied by what is supplied in the kit. So that's all for this video review. I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button. And also, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you won't miss any new video review. And I will see you in the next video. As usual, bye.